Another set of tools available for 4D STEM data processing is contained in the volume menu. The first important function in the volume menu allows us to rotate the data cube. In the example I'm showing here, the dimension ordering goes as spatial X, spatial Y, diffraction X, and finally diffraction Y. Certain processing operations are faster if the spatial dimensions come first, and others are faster if the diffraction dimensions come first. Applying cube rotation can greatly affect the speed of data processing, especially for large data sets. A new data set will be generated if we use this function, so remember to make sure there is enough memory available before doing so. Some other useful functions in the Volume Tools menu are Rebin, Subsample, and Extract Volume. These functions are mainly used to reduce the data size, or in the case of rebinning, improve the signal to noise ratio in the diffraction patterns as well as reducing the file size. Clicking on any of these causes a dialog to be displayed, where we then need to choose our subsampling or binning parameters for the specific routine. As an example, I'm going to select subsampling and only subsample in the real space dimensions. I am choosing two as the step size, which means the new dataset will have every other pixel in the spatial dimensions of the original data. Now, if I decide instead to rebin by two, again, only in the spatial dimension, the software will take two by two pixels from my scan, put them in one pixel in the final data object. It's also going to sum the four corresponding diffraction images from these pixels and assign the summed image to the new binned pixel. By doing this, I am reducing my spatial resolution, but the signal to noise ratio in my diffraction images will go up. We expect a result that's similar to increasing exposure time by a factor of four for the same experimental conditions on the microscope. Let's compare the two. You can see the difference by comparing the intensities in two diffraction patterns from the same location in the two volumes. The intensity in the diffraction pattern from the binned data is four times higher than the subsampled data. Each pixel in the binned volume contains the sum of four diffraction patterns, as opposed to only one diffraction pattern in the subsampled data. So the results make sense. 